So let me know if it's too loud. You have Peggle 1 and 2, it's super fun. Really? Oh, we're skipping that part. It really is, PJ. <laughs> Nightmare. But this is for... Is EA stuff going to be... Sh Does EA... What? Is EA stuff going to be shown? Peggle uses classic music for all its stages. Really? Ooh, what is that? What, are, what is this? What are they gonna play? There's 48,000 people watching right now. Ooh. It's starting. Chamber Orchestra. Oh, this is nice. Taylor Swift, is that you? <laughs> this isn't Usher. <laughs> What makes it quadruple? Huh, should be. Let's go next. Oh wow, they're showing gameplay. Oh look. Hello everyone. I'm Matthias Carlson, game director at Massive Entertainment. Oh, it's Today, sarcasm. We'll show you a oh. different type of adventure. <laughs> and as we journey across Whee. multiple systems, we will come across many opportunities for a scoundrel. <laughs> In Star Wars Outlaws. <laughs> One of your motivations for exploration is to find elusive experts scattered across the galaxy. These experts will help Kay pick up new skills to survive in the underworld. Is it too quiet? Do I need to turn it up? Here, we're looking for a gunslinger who can teach us some new tricks. Our intel points to the Mos Eisley Cantina on Tatooine. Mos Eisley. So let's head back to our ship. I like that little creature. We're picking up in Acra Station. A remnant of the Clone Wars. It used to be a refueling station. You know, I sometimes I wish I could like stream like this. Contraband. It's a great place to resupply. Where I could just be like, ah, oh, let's slowly walk through and and move the camera slowly Merchants to show are everything. With the syndicate. <laughs> it might offer you a special deal if you're in good standing with them. Okay. You can. I cannot. This I am. Kind of business attracts all kinds of shipjackers, contract brokers, and corrupt officials. I mean, I guess I technically could, but nobody's stopping you. This is awkward. <laughs> Your ship, the Trailblazer, is a refined EML 850, the last of its kind. Oh. On board. You'll find everything you need to finalize your preparations. Wow. This looks really nice. 
I can't remember the last time I played Star Wars. I didn't play the other games. Hey, Andy. Hi, Carrie. Who's who we play as? I like her. Ooh. Each planet has its own system for you to explore. Oh. Many opportunities to make a few credits. I wonder Which how many planets. Engage with or not. I am under Infinity. My ship will not survive long. It is true. It's not the Millennium Falcon, but. This is Kate. Ooh. Aboard the Trailblazer. I'm coming to help. It, t it tells you where to target? Huh. I would- <laughs> I could not do this. <laughs> oh. Wow. There you go. Lock on! Get him! That's how I'll do it. <laughs> to help and you can tell Gorak he owes KVS a ship in space your actions also have consequences and can impact your reputation with syndicates this optional dogfight allowed us to improve our reputation with the pikes while making a few credits interesting now let's continue our journey and head to Tatooine we I'm a Star Wars fan, so I was going to get it. Even if most people find it bad, I'll probably enjoy it. Edge of the galaxy. It's all good. If you have fun, then it's all good. It's worth it then. The hot cartel. Our reputation Isn't this going to be like GTA, essentially, when you're in the open world? Maybe. I need to play Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Some were bad, and I enjoyed it. It's okay. Everybody hated Mass Effect Andromeda, and I loved it. <laughs> Go, Joel! <sighs> Welcome to legendary Mos Eisley. The infamous hive of scum and villainy. You know, I still have to finish, um... We could head straight to our destination. Or... Explore. Oh, I forgot her name. Orange. Recreating this iconic city TV show. Come true for our team. Star Wars. Allowing us to show parts of Mos Eisley you've White never seen before. Stripe ah Ahsoka. Yes, I need. Why did I? I blanked on her name. I need to finish that TV show. I'm not there done. Are many opportunities for a scoundrel, including working your way in with the hot cartel. Most of Tatooine's economy is. They're doing the a country. really good Even overview of Star Wars. The imperial presence has been hurting their business. But first, we need to pick up the trail of our expert gunslinger. The best place to start is the cantina. Is it now, Oga's cantina? I went there at Disney World. To work for the hot cartel. Our intel leads to one of their storehouses, located in the southern hills. Traveling to your destination can be an adventure in itself. This looks so... This looks fun. The open world. Look at this. As you move across scorching dunes and dusty valleys, you'll quickly realize that this lawless desert planet still holds many mysteries. There's so much. We've reached our destination. We need to locate our storehouse and find our way into this heavily guarded fortress without triggering the alarm. You have to be sneaky? Did I get any blue milk? I did. <laughs> I think I got, we both got one blue milk and one of the green milk. And I think I preferred the blue one better. I can't remember. The other one tasted weird. <laughs> I can't remember which one was the better one. All right, maybe there's a data pad or something that can tell me who that old gunslinger is. Huh. 
What the heck? Whoa. I didn't know. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Whoa, there's so many options of things you could do to be Next. sneaky Jesus, and take anyone close? <clears throat> he has like echo vision some oh no that other one no they spotted you oh just zap them <laughs> Ooh, it's a mini game to open up the lock. Yes, I got it. Cool. Wait, Quint, that sheriff from Wayfar used to work for the huts. I should talk to her. What was with the lighting there? Oh, come on. Oh, look at the lighting effect. Well, we now know where to find our gunslinger. So let's get out of here quick. This We're looks great. playthrough could be this like cinematic <laughs> when I play games like this <laughs> that's cool that looks really cool is Chewbacca in this game I haven't seen him yet maybe maybe not you are cinematic yours are cinematic no if you're still looking for Haas, I haven't seen him. Haas. Actually, I'm here for you. I heard you're the best shot on the planet. Oh, and you want to be second best. Now is not a good time. The huts are coming, and I need to get ready. Get your blaster out. What we have just shown you is the beginning of one of the many adventures you can go on in Star Wars Outlaws. Ah. Whether you want to learn new blaster skills, wow. upgrade your speeder, Whoa! Or become an unstoppable thief. Finding an expert is that always looks an so adventure. Blurry. In a galaxy oh, okay. full of opportunities. Probably just the... Wow! <laughs> we should get moving. Boba Fett's Fluffy. I actually can't remember if he named it or not. I forgot. Wow, that was that was a really good look. It looks fun. Surviving in the workers' district in Canto Bite. Seeing the rich get richer while pulling off small cons Rancor. with your buddy Nix is all you've ever known. After crossing one of the galaxy's elite, you end up hunted with your one chance of freedom being an impossible task to pull off one of the greatest heists of all time. To increase your chances of survival, you'll need to seek out elusive experts scattered all across the outer rim. Where's From a bear? skilled pirate That's turned cute. sheriff gunslinger, to a sabak high roller who has perfected sleight of hand. And they brought up they brought up the hut of so hoarding jowers that can fit off market parts to your starship. Follow rumors whispered between locals or a tip off from a cantina bartender that will lead you to their location before embarking on shady and often dangerous jobs to grow from a street thief into a fearless outlaw. But as a wanted scoundrel, it's in your best interest only to stick around long enough 
to get what you need before jumping to a brand new location. Syndicates and their leaders such as Lady Kira and Jabba the Hutt have their hand in every part of the galaxy, from the darkest corner of Acre Station to the lawless sands of Tatooine. Build your reputation with them to earn lucrative rewards or gamble everything. Risk Why do they keep showing who are those? And double cross them to land yourself a big score. On behalf of Massive Entertainment, Maybe they are also the directors or co-development studios. People all across Ubisoft and of course Lucasfilm Games. Hi, Hemo. Sorry, I'm gonna pause that. To share We're watching this. Look Hemo, thank this you. Childhood dream come true. Was my favorite game so far? Crafted with passion and wonder. From what Ubisoft you or just in, in general? I'm excited for if Fable. You're willing to take the risk. The galaxy is full of opportunity. Wow, that was a lot. You like his green outfit? Oh my god, that thing. <laughs> Those things freak me out. No, you're good. I, I should have paused it. Thank you. Yeah, in general. Dangerous Golden Age. Fable for sure. Um, Expedition 33 looked really cool. Um, Perfect Dark looked you awesome. And there's a, a ton of super cute, wholesome games that I watched today. K gets pulled into a plan. But I, Summer Game Fest, Xbox Game Showcase, no and Wholesome Direct is the only one I've seen. I didn't see PC Gaming Show. From childhood, K and Nix have been inseparable partners. You're welcome. Helping Freaking cute, man. Freaking love, love it. Her little axolotl alien. All right. Distract him, Nix. Is that how you say axolotl? By Using the way? their criminal <laughs> skills and tools. Swaddle. <laughs> Doom the Dark Ages. Yeah. Kay and Nix Vroom. will constantly adapt to every scenario. Nix, you want to drop that for me? Come on, come on. Whoa. If you don't want me to sound the alarm. You'll get me out of here. As your versatility grows, this game looks game really cool to too. Skills, There's been a lot of games that I'm just like, gosh, dang, does that look fun? Um, there was another game like Deer and Boy and Neva that looked really good world, during the summer games fest. I can't let you walk out of here. Oh shoot! Oh yeah, that's this. They're talking I'm about your reputation. It. Shame. Wow, they show they're showing a lot. And a reputation is everything. Where is he? Oh. The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. And more attention you'll receive from some <laughs> Reminds of the you most like Lilo is stitched of the galaxy. And how did you think it was going to end? Tell the governor the payments will not increase. It's up to you where your loyalties lie. Being wanted by the Empire brings a new set of challenges. This is getting bad. Wow. So as your exploits grow, beware of who you cross. Hang on. <laughs> you were made, you were about to make Static a bad aim the comment. Stars are unique locations, <laughs> rich biomes, environments. Ooh. And adventures to discover. Traverse the lush jungle world of Akiva, the ancient city of Kajimi, the dangerous savanna moon of Tashara, or roam the lawless planet of Tatooine. When it's time to move, Pilot K's trailblazer to transition from planet that to planet. That looks nice. Yeah, it looks really nice. Fire up the hyperdrive. Ready to jump. Once you land, you can explore all these worlds on Kay's S-57 Cardinal Speeder. <laughs> this is the life of an outlaw. A life where you fight, explore, and infiltrate parts of the galaxy you never thought possible. There are opportunities at every turn. And if you're willing to take the risk and defy the odds, the galaxy is yours for the taking. Oh. 
She's giving Han Solo a run for his money. <laughs> Odin. It's Odin. Available August 30th. Wow, that's coming up soon. What's next? A Ubisoft original. X Defiant. I guess they tell you in the corner. <laughs> New Faction GSK. Is this a game that's already out? I'm assuming if they're saying new weapons. You love this game already? Yeah, the Star Wars game was great. You're just gonna wait and see myself. Oh, like see for yourself if you like Star Wars? New ranked progression. That's a fancy gun. X Define is already out. Do you like playing this game, Killa? This is trailer so fast and furious. <laughs> me. Season one, coming July second. Oh, it's a free to play game. Not for me, but just there you go. No, I'm just gonna wait and see how much or how it turns out. Oh, for yes, okay, I understand. Skull and bones. How? How? Uh, Hello, everyone. Since our launch, it's been very exciting watching the community grow How was and the launch? have fun with the world we created. We've gathered a lot of your feedback during season one, and we are continuing to work with you, our community, to bring an engaging and immersive naval experience. Whoa. Season two, Chorus of Havoc has just begun and introduces a new narrative arc with brand new Sea Lords, the Hubeck Twins. Armand and Bertrand are set to challenge you with their orchestral fleet and reward you with new Oh, the game didn't do well at launch. You will also get a brand new ship, the Brig. It's fast, maneuverable, and perfect as a warship or smuggling vessel. Oh no, this really, This season Shiro? will have you face off against a vicious and hungry new sea monster, the Megalodon. Let's that start. is true, XPS is right. Special time-limited events, the Summer Fiesta and Dragon's Regatta boat races will have you competing for additional rewards to customize your ships and arsenal. We've also added community requested features, including fleet management, allowing you to assign your ships to a POI, secure your profits, expand your empire, and deliver precious pieces of aid. New solo and PvE game modes have been added, giving you more ways to acquire manufactories and defend them from rivals looking to cripple your empire. Cool. Ship upgrades will elevate your favorite ships to powerful new levels, offering further diversity in your playstyle. This summer, the fresh gameplay experiences will continue with our upcoming Season 3, Into the Dragon's Wake. You will meet the mysterious Li Tianning, a renegade of the naval faction, the Dragon's Claw. Seems like this they're doing a lot for it, though. Will Hi, a big impact on the open seas and brings new activities, stories, and rewards. You will also face off against a brand new legendary sea monster like never before, a flying dragon resurfaced after eons of slumber. Oh. A new How do you fight a PvP flying dragon? Will offer new ways to play progress and obtain rewards 5v5 mode pvp mode sorry my camera's three. in the way and you can also try it separately as part of our free trial finally thank you to all our players we will keep working hard to bring you original amazing experiences as we continue to go on this journey with you Ooh. 
You think they have a very niche audience? Maybe. Prince of Persia. The only game I really enjoyed with, when I was like sailing was an arcade. That's an MMO. Hello everyone. I'm Gwen Bero, brand director for Prince of Persia. And today I have three special treats for you. Since 1989, players have gone on epic adventures through legendary Persia, embodying relentless princes capable of defying gravity, running on walls, rewinding time to avoid traps, and defeating mythical creatures. To celebrate the 35th anniversary of this iconic franchise, 35th. we wanted to give you new exhilarating adventures. Back in January, Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, released to critical acclaim from media and players. Uh. Today, Ubisoft Montpellier has a special treat for you all. Check it out. Hello, everyone. Thank you for all the love you shared about our game and the free updates released over the past months. It's been thrilling to us. Oh. <laughs> title update available for free called divine Triumph. <laughs> they just go back Next, to work a glimpse of a story DLC. i never played it free oh free content update this looks cool combat challenges oh gosh revisited oh shoot puzzle challenges platform challenges so many challenges Oh, new amulets, new outfits, divine trials, available now. Oh, shoot. Available now. <gasps> That's today. <laughs> cool. You really like this? You're very excited? Ooh, creepy. Ooh, story DLC, September 24, Mask of Darkness. Nice. Seems like a lot of people in the crowd are excited about it. <laughs> Even harder platform challenges. Stopping there. Apparently. Ubisoft has partnered with the indie studio Evil Empire to bring their amazing independent spirit to the franchise. The Rogue Prince of Persia, which released just a few weeks ago, is a fast paced action platforming roguelite. Oh, that was early access. Throughout the early access phase, We'll be gathering valuable feedback now. from you all while also delivering regular updates and additional content. Here's a taste. Ooh. Hi, we're recording this just before early access release while everyone is in full debugging mode and completely freaking out. So by the time you see this, <laughs> Rock Prince of Persia would have been out for two weeks already. And it's time to thank you, people from the future, for all your love and the billions of sales we've made now that the game is bug free and has 100% positive reviews. Today, I can quickly <laughs> announce that How are the, reviews? Day, the Temple of Fire is about to release. Check it out. Ooh. Oh. When, when was that other Prince of Persia game released? The one that we saw, like, right before this. the With the free content update. It's r still relatively new, right? So this January? Oh. Wow, they're, then they already have another game? Temple of Fire update. Available now. Wow. A garnish. Finally, I will leave you with a glimpse of what we are calling our love letter to one of the most beloved game in the entire series. One that I'm sure you'll agree is truly timeless. Thank you. Timeless. <laughs> you think it's a remake? Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. 
the sands of time. Oh, 2026. It was a great game. I never played Sands of Time. Ah, is they're doing a remake though? That's cool. 2026 is a little far off though, but it's hey, that's you awesome. Can guitar and piano fast anytime, that's some good anywhere. news. From Rocksmith, PC, mobile, and now PlayStation. Plus, discover thousands of hit songs from artists like Metallica, Tom Petty, Don't you Coldplay, dare play and that. Lincoln Park, with new songs added each month. Enjoy practice Copyright. tools to hone your skills, like adapting. They announced a remake for it a few years ago, but never showed anything more. Whether you're a beginner or expert, mm. anyone can learn with Rocksmith Plus. Plus, get real-time feedback with personal. That was supposed AI to come out in 2021 originally, but fell into today. major dev problems. And best of all, oh. new users can download Rocksmith Plus free with access to a limited number of songs, lessons, well, and features. Well, at least we know that they're taking their time on it, and it'll be better. Try for free today. Try it for free. What's next? Av oh, the Avatar no game. No freaking way. Oh my god. Oh, wow. This looks so nice. Probably gonna be saying that a lot. I got goosebumps. Nice and easy. Look to be best pals. <laughs> Yo, let's go! Nice. <laughs> Slide and punch a guy. It's great. <laughs> Protect Pandora, become Navi. Are, oh. The battle has been won. Story Pack it One coming July sixteenth. Rejoice and celebrate. Welcome to the great Story days. Pack. to break us but we'll rise stronger Harding? Oh. July 16th, available in Season Pass. Hmm. Seems like you spent a lot of time writing in this game. Maybe. The Crew Motorfest. Hi everyone. What a first year we had with the Crew Motorfest. I like the world of Pandora. Season I was so captivated by the first movie. One coming in July. It will be all about car customization and you will discover our latest playlist, Donk vs. The Rider. Now, let's talk about the future. I'm thrilled to give you a first look at our festival program for the year to come. In year two, Monofest will continue to grow with more season, cars, and playlists. We will start with season five and a huge surprise. We know many of you love spending hours exploring our beautiful world. So, what about discovering a new playground? Yes, a brand new Hawaiian island will be added to the game at the launch of Season 5 for free. Season 5 will also bring a sequel to a fan favorite playlist with Men in Japan, Volume 2. Yeah, Mutual I agree, XPS. A brand new gameplay experience. Chase and Takedown arrive at Motorfest. Let's have a look. The hound. Puppy. We're driven by the chase. 
always on the lookout. And once our target is in sight, it's on. <laughs> I'll leave this game for you guys. The crew, the division, Prince of Persia, and now the Hound. Mm -hmm. And don't forget Star Wars. There's no rest oh wait. For us. Oh, you mean? Is the chase? Oh yeah, they do have a lot of V in Stop. front. <laughs> oh, that's what you meant. I thought you meant the things we've seen so far. <laughs> You're right. The November. Joining Waterfest in November as premium PVE content. To find out more. Tune in to our next The Crew Showcase in September. Thank you for watching and see you there. The Outlaw? <laughs> by order of the Emperor, my fellow Romans, I bring forth tidings of hope across our glorious lands. For for we oh, this is for a on the threshold of a new age. Our streets shall be lined <laughs> with abundance. <laughs> our fields shall yield bountiful harvests, and our coffers shall overflow with wealth. Civ is 2K, so not that. What is the thing on the box then? Oh, I thought it said Civ. It says C X V something. You can take it from here. Oh, Anno. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's a Roman numeral. <laughs> Oh, Anno. That was awesome. Anna. Hi, my name is Manuel Reiner. I'm creative director. And hi, I'm Hay Anderson, Anno brand director. And it's with great pleasure Anna. and enthusiasm that we, on behalf of the Ubisoft Mind Studio, stand before you to give you a glimpse into the extraordinary new chapter that is Anno 117, Pax Romana, a fan favorite setting that's been highly awaited. Now, we'll be releasing in 2025 on both PC and console. But today, we embark on an unparalleled journey. Just imagine, it's the year 117, time of the Pax Romana. Yes, and united by conquerors, the empire found its way to peace and become a cultural melting pot. Mm -hmm. Anno 117, Pax Romana, will deliver Roman gaming experience unlike anything you have ever played. And for the first time in Anno, you will be able to choose your starting province. Either the mysterious Celtic wetlands of Albion where no civilized Roman wants to be, or the traditional Roman heartlands, Latium, yeah. close to the hungry heart of empire. Manu, I'm so excited for this Same game. Same for me. <laughs> and there are so many more exciting features and details that we'll reveal in time. So stay tuned for next year as Anno 117 Pax cool. Romana will be releasing on both PC and console. But it's with great passion and mm -hmm. excitement that we bring this 25-year-old timeless game here to the main stage at Ubisoft Forward. And to our core loyal fans, a massive thank you. Because without you, none of this would be possible. Thank you, everyone. Oh, they're not, we can't see anything? Okay. Masamune Blade for honor. Ano said too many times for a Spanish speaker. An what? Ano means butt. Oh, does it? Brawl Hala. Assassin's Creed Shadow's first gameplay reveal is next.
Anyol is here, though, which is close. <laughs> Did I say that correctly? Monop Monopoly. If I was forced to play Monopoly, this would definitely be the way I'd want to play. <laughs> I did. Thank you. Did you like my my Spanish gigantic paragraph in Discord? Did you see it, Jai? <laughs> Orca helped me, obviously. <laughs> there ain't no way. I was so confused why that one guy was so, like, not able to really understand what I was saying. And then I clicked on his profile and I saw it was that he had Spanish in his um, profile. So I was like, got it. No, I didn't use Google Translate because I wanted Orca to help me and Orca speaks Spanish. So I got Orca to just translate it for me. I know, right, Effin? It's okay, I guess because we answered the questions, but... <laughs> Your brother can't cheat being the banker in that Monopoly. That's true. <laughs> that was my sister. <laughs> she always cheated. I hated Monopoly, though. Ow. Thanks, spoiler. All right, Assassin's Creed Shadows. Who are they gonna... Ooh, the drums. Well, it's uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows is based in Japan. Taiko Project. Is that the name of these drums, Ty Taiko? Love this. Good. That was a vibe. I liked it. Whatever that was. Just atmosphere. I liked it. I like the drummers. We are the shadows. And the mood. That served the light. The oceans fill with new ships, but they all come from the same river. It's so hard for you to not compare this to Ghost of Tsushima. Vengeance. We must learn to trust. And follow the blade. No, you didn't, Lulu. <laughs> no, you didn't. That's cute. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Charles Benoit, game director Sha oh. on Assassin's Creed Shadows. I'm very proud to be here today to present our dream project, a game that we have dream. wanted to make for a very long time. Wasn't the code word red? Yes, we're finally going to Makes feudal sense. Japan at the end of Sengoku era. Thank you! <laughs> it was a period of war where clans were fighting for power, a turning point in history culminating in the unification of Japan. A period shaped by political intrigue, secret leagues and battles fought in the shadows and a time where the greatest warrior became heroes and inspired the most amazing and well-known epic fantasies, the samurai and the shinobi. I love how he said samurai. Archetypes for our dual protagonist. Yulemba did the deadliest samurai. trained assassin in history, the shinobi, with Naoi, a young woman from the mountains of Higa province. I love that name. Was forced by Naoi. war to learn the arts of deception. You also experience Japan through the eyes of Yasuke, 
an historical character whose legend is surrounded <laughs> by mysteries. It allows us to tell the story of a foreigner who becomes a samurai under Oda Nobunaga, <clears throat> the most powerful daimyo at that time. Two protagonists with unique personal stories and views of the world. Once allied, player can bounce freely between both characters. Play either as Yasuke, a strong combat-focused samurai, or as Naoe, the agile and stealthy shinobi. And as you progress in your adventure, you'll feel the time passing like never before. We're introducing Ooh. a full year cycle where you'll be able to rediscover a location under different season and cool. weather. For example, in winter, ice may prevent you from going underwater. But as the season gets warmer, you can now use pounds to approach your enemies. Or heavy rain will help you to blend in the environment, to lurk or escape your opponents. You can also use your surroundings to your favor. At night, extinguish lanterns and destroy brazier to vanish in the shadows. Each day and season bring its own challenges. But today, I'm really excited to share an extended look at Assassin's Creed Shadows gameplay. You're about to see a sequence where Naoe and Yasuke are hunting corrupted demio through beautiful parts of Japan. You'll see the dynamic of our two heroes, and now they complement their strengths with the unstoppable force of Yasuke and the deadly skills of Naoe. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy. Which one is Mirage about again, Shiro? <gasps> the monkey. I do like the weather changes too. Oh, if you play the guy, you can be less stealthy and more focused on combat. I tread my own path in this divided land. Ooh. Fukuchiyama. At last. The fields are busy. A big harvest requires many hands. Oh, okay. You can pet the dog. Ah, <laughs> beast, are you not? <laughs> That's cute. That's a pretty big dog. Samurai, sir, this way. I beg you. Hurry, sir, please. How do you know which kid was talking to him? Look how the kid walks. He's so happy. I brought someone. Baba. I wonder where you went. <laughs> Game automatically wins because you can pet the dog. Ah, a samurai. One that does not hail from these lands. I am a stranger, yes. But you have nothing to fear from me. Ha! I have enough to fear from the men of Kuchiyama. They abuse their power, taxing us again and again. Leaving us only scraps. I bet they are in the market now, along the main road. A stranger might make good merit, leading a village of a threat like these men. Is that so? Then I shall see it done. For this life, Hi. if not the next. Wait, are they gonna do the whole mission? 
It says, he is in Tamba. He roams the town of Fukuchiyama. He harasses people in the dying people district. Here. More corruption. That's what it says here. Such beauty, shadowed by suffering. I want to see what this looks like with like better bitrate because it looks so blurry on the stream this Oh, it hit him so hard it knocked his helmet off. Yeah! <laughs> this isn't an accurate gameplay example. Who isn't just running across the roofs and trying to climb everything right away? That's... <laughs> fair. <laughs> you had to walk on the streets to pet the dog. Come on, David. Oh, it could be how heavy his armor is, maybe. Who's the one that said earlier that if you play the guy, it's like less stealth, it's more attack? Maybe that's why? <laughs> it's true, though. <laughs> it does have work in progress, yes. I like the cherry blossom trees. Slightly addicted to those. Greed cannot rule this village. Not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head. I said kill him. Get on day. I'll wash away his failure with your blood. You will have to spill it first. What is the little sparkle? Does it give you just like an indicator that you can dodge? Who do you think you are? For the people? I am just. Do they pay people to make their. Oh. Their gameplay, like, super smooth, you know? Like, I'd be like pressing, like. <laughs> they make everything look so fancy. Yeah, it's scripted. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense, but they practice. Okay, that that makes sense. Okay. Duh. Oh, look, there's the girl. What was it, Nawe? I love that name. The samurai has been stealing from the villagers. He has been starving the people here for some time. So now oh. we know who he worked for. The daimyo in Fukuchiyama Castle. Daimyo. We should go. Not before we send our allies daimyo. to look for him. He'll be difficult to find. White means parry, red means dodge. That makes sense. The daimyo. He's there. Who will take the lead? We can sneak in. Who we'll charge through the front gate? That. Ah, ah, you choose. It's Be sneaky. Dark. Yeah. No Here we go. Here's a climbing. They will not stand a chance. But be careful in there. Don't worry. I won't be alone. It'll be me and the shadows. Yeah. Assassin's Creed shadows at that. And the shadows. To serve the light. Yeah. I'll go straight for the daimyo. <laughs> when fighting a snake, why wrestle the body when you can slice off the head? Oh. A white means parry and dodge. Red means unblockable. Oh, okay. Oh! 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 
Oh, there you go. There's the assassins and the assassin creed. The sneaky assassin version. Are you not going to help that? You're girl? mine now, snake. Okay. Just got places to be, man. <gasps> Ooh. Knock the oh no no okay oh yeah you gotta show off other stuff there we go ooh, ooh is that him oh cool cutscene a grave huh. Is that the guy? Oh. Oh, yeah, don't kill this person. Oh, they're just gonna knock him out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I do leave. This kind of gameplay is far more satisfying. Oh my god, you can kill people through a screen? What? That's cool. What? What? It is satisfying, I, I, I admit. Oh, oh, he's coming. <gasps> oh! I'm just a fly on the wall. Don't mind me. Is it gonna show that cutscene too? <gasps> Lord Hayashi. I learned Hayashi is a kind of like curry rice meal. I learned that yesterday actually. Now you learned it. Hayashi Rice. Fujioka must have been the samurai Yasuke took out. Good riddance. What? How did I not see you? <laughs> oh my god, that I guy I took it to the like face. That deserves a slower death than the one I'm about to give him. Oh. Drowning him. Oh, what the... The way she crawled in the water. Oh, shoot. There's the guards. Oh my god, look it! She has to breathe. Right. Oh, shoot! Get him! I guess there was... Okay. Oh, it cut the bamboo down. Oh, shoot! That's a big ball and chain. Oh! I've shed all the blood I need. Time to go. Oh, she just leaves them. Okay. Ah. Oh. Time to run. Dev deep dive coming up in the post show. Oh, there's a post show. We're not gonna watch the post show, but good to know. Oh shoot, they spotted you too. Oh. Nice. Oh, am I funny? Thank you. <laughs> this looks cool though. I, I, maybe they didn't see the little reed pop up and out of the water for her to breathe. Cool. No 
November 15th. We have a lot of awesome games coming out this year. How exciting. Maybe there's still one more. Mm, maybe. Maybe they do the one and one more thing. Maybe. Mm, everybody's on stage, though. Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure for all of us to be here to celebrate our shared passion for games. I wanted to say thank you to all Ubisoft teams around the world. Their talent, creativity, hard work, is but what my makes dancing. <laughs> and all this possible. Look at the Star Wars so. characters. <laughs> to all our players, thank you. Oh, maybe your that's why they're on the stage. Is our driving force. They'll announce and just dance and then to all get your dance together. On the amazing games you have seen today. So. That's it. Genius. So thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you. That would be so entertaining, not gonna lie. But no, nah, they're done, they're done. <laughs> it would be a good ending. Worst team building exercise ever. Yeah, there's, there's uh, four stormtroopers down here. Yay! Uh, that was that was good. I liked it. Yay! Good job, Ubisoft forward. That was fun.